everyone and welcome to sketchbook tour number nine um this is a cool little abstract purple drawing i did on this one and i let's see i started this one on november 13th and i finished on the 25th so i finished this sketchbook in 12 days 80 pages never thought i would i don't know how i did it i don't know where my mind was but i really wish I had that all the time. The front is boring on this one, believe it or not. Not many stickers. I did it in 12 days. <clears throat> we start the page off with my favorite character from Genshin Impact. This is Chung Yin. He is an ice boy. He is the cutest boy. He is the cutest. I gotta make like my own grown up version of him and like use him in like a, I don't know, with one of my main characters or whatever. I'll make a little comic out of it. Comics is like what I'm trying to get. So I'm just doing these sketchbooks so I can get better and better till I see myself and say, all right, I feel conf I feel confident that I will like my comic work. I mean, I have some, but I just want to be better. It's a lot of practice. Oh, um, fashion. I'm working on fashion. So I drew like this, what do you call it? Crocus? Crocus? Pretty much a, a mannequin like design and then I drew clothes over it so I used my light tablet to kind of yeah help me out with that I did some clothes I colored some not really this is this one th that's okay that's an okay design <laughs> it looked better in the sketch design honestly I think this one was pretty interesting and in how I got the shadows and such and then just pretty dress I might actually use that pretty dress here's a cool face I did yeah, cool face. <laughs> Practice. This is me kind of practicing perspective. I'm not the greatest at it, so I'm not gonna like kill myself about it, but I at least want to figure out how to do, you know, make it look good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Backgrounds doesn't have to be the best thing about my stories. It's mainly my characters I want to look lovable. Um, here's an eye that I just, that I did with my keyboard and alcohol markers. Here's some more sketches of characters. This is a cool, simple outfit. Her neck, her neck is so long. Every time I look at her, uh, I did guys' clothes. Guys' clothes are pretty boring. Um, I don't know. Guys are so. I don't know. The clothes are so boring. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna have to make some interesting clothes. I'm gonna look at more JoJo. He has some interesting clothes for his characters. And they're just wearing just like... The, the clothes is interesting. I don't know what their clothes is. It's just different from this. This one's cool, but it's still just shirt. I mean, just, it's just shirt and pants. I mean, look at it. Shirt and pants. Shirt and pants. Shirt and pants. This, women, we have like 20 different designs. Anyway, back on track. Here's eyes. That was fun. I, went, I looked at realistic eyes for these. Um, just to get the idea and... I mean, manga eyes and realistic eyes are not that far apart at all. Um, here's my sketches. I'm just gonna come up with my main character for my story, Retrocess, which will be coming out once I figure out my first three chapters, probably. Um, more notes, covering up some boring word stuff. More notes to sell, palette, pretty washi tape, and here's a character that's probably gonna be in a story. I, I was figuring out his color scheme, and this is pretty cool. It's, it's different. I, I like the, the different colors. Um, here's more outfits for the girls, because they tend to have more variety. I like her little hair. I like her, her top. Her top is my favorite thing. This dress is pretty cool. I'm not big on dresses, but if, you know, I wanted a cool ball ground dress, this would be it. Coming for the story. The story is like, clothing is very, um, is one of the things that I want to Make it, make it big for the character. I don't know. You know, I can't word today. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the, the gloomy weather outside. I don't know. Um, yeah, more sketches. Outfit. He's a cool guy. Um, more words. So if you see these, just know that there's boring words under there. Sorry for practice. This is probably the main character in my story. So I was going to run with this face. I did all this in like alcohol markers. Interesting. 
pretty cool. This is another guy from Reference. I thought he was interesting. I like how his hair is up. And it has like um, the ear thingies that I can't think of right now because I'm just not okay. Here's some eyes for my guys. There's, what, four guys in the story? Yeah, there's four guys. I don't draw guys much, so I'm like really getting into it. Speaking of guys, here is a guy that I drew. His name is Prince Takai. I don't know if this is his finished face, but I know it's not his finished lips. I redrew him somewhere. I have a picture of the memory, but I think I deleted it because I wasn't satisfied with it. Um, I was gonna do a digital scene about it, but I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna admit to redoing it. Here is, um, so I watched Chill Chaos on Twitch, and this is a character, um, his character. He got a cool little hat, and he always wears white. Um, and he's, his favorite line is, you sicko, which is hilarious to me. I made him an MD, like, it's a, a doctor, right? Right? I'm not sure what MD means exactly, but I know it's usually, I don't know. He has a cool eye, guy eye. An animal eye? It looks like an animal eye now when I look at it. Here's, here's the one and only sexy um, Yagi Toshinari, or All Might. This looks very sketchy and cool. It's actually done by alcohol markers, and then I kind of use my um, Posca pens and the outlines just to kind of like, draw to just make some things more vibrant and in the teeth I put the Posca too and it looks really really cool and sketchy because I, I didn't even like really I don't think I erased the lines to, at all so it's it's a cool style that I, I want to repeat I really like this style I like that grunge style nah, I'm trying to oh gosh try to do that in, in digital we're gonna, we're gonna try you shouldn't have like very bright, untouched like lines. I feel like he should have like sketchy lines because the life he's going through. More eyes. More swatches. God, come on. Alright, here's a sad clown. Um, her inspiration came from Pinterest. I don't know what the name is, but it's a cool little character. Here is the YouTube thumbnail for my Vaporwave ATO video. I thought it was cool. I, yeah, I worked hard on that, on those glitchy effects, those pixel and glitchy effects. I like the pixel and glitchy. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep with that. But like the YouTube thumbnail, at least for the um, speed paints. So the speed paint of these three. I, I like the the trio thing. So I'll probably do it again because they. I mean, I do them pretty fast. So the video is showing pretty fast, and I don't think anybody wants to sit all day just watching a speed paint. So I try to do that and then create some cool music to go with it. Here is a, what do you call it? Deconstructed Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. Another villain who is, <laughs> um, I guess in a way a bit of a pervert, but only for like one person. And, um, God, he's so sneaky and he's so good at what he does. It's, it's hard to just hate that guy. And I notice his characters with these very small eyes. They're usually villains, but you, it's hard to just hate them. I need to reference that here's some like what french designs or french like little details that i took some inspiration from it's a little tedious my add is a little is like i don't know about this one but um i don't know i'll take some things from it and get some inspiration here's a deconstructed jonathan joestar from the very first jojo you can't tell oh i mean that's, you, you wouldn't be able to tell unless i didn't tell you it's him trust me here's some patterns i came up with just cool I just wanted to use more color and here I didn't even use any lines to like draw the things I just I mean I just went straight marker which is inspirational because once you just go like with the, the finish um the finish inking you just like oh I gotta make this look good so you just I don't know once you mess up you're just like oh well it's messed up then might as well just keep on going and try to finish it and it looks pretty cool this reminds me of like a tropical or something you would see on like a chair or whatever that's cool. I pick like what? Did I pick the random? Did I just randomly pick colors for this one? I don't know. I have more of these later. And there's one that I really like that we're getting close to. This is my lazy one. This is the, just lines and colors. I thought it'd be look cool, but eh, it's okay. This is Josuke. Um, from Diamonds Unbreakable. JoJo's Diamonds Unbreakable. He's my favorite JoJo, if you didn't notice, Josuke. I love me some Josuke. 
them. These are more cool designs. I remember I did this piece. I was watching, um, uh, what is it? Meat Loaf's music video. I would do anything for love. This was fun. I was singing a song the whole time too. That's a cool little pattern I saw on Pinterest and I decided to kind of mimic it and put my own little touch to it, especially these cute little flowers. Um, this marbling thing is pretty cool though. I like that a lot. There's cherries done in two different ways. This side was done in Posca and this side was done in Tombow markers. It's a big difference or it kind of shows, I don't know, just, <laughs> I say I don't know a lot, but Sometimes when I draw, I don't really have a thought process. I just go for it. And sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it looks like, eh. Um, there was a crown back here that we will not speak of. It is not great. And we will just move on to the next page. This character's okay. She's helped to cover up the crown, which I guess is, she looks better than the crown. This is a bag that I drew, an actual purse. You see that. Why I gotta say that? But I'm actually doing it in digital right now. And it's going to be a speed paint video. Um, so that's going to be cool. And here we come to my favorite spread in the whole sketchbook. There's a little can of tea. Of inspiration for my favorite tea. If you don't know what it is, I'll probably draw it in another sketchbook and didn't tell you. That way I'll see if you listen to me. But this is a brand of tea that I made for my um, Retro Sets comic. They're going to have a lot of brand name or like brand inspired items. Like brands is going to be a thing in there. So I decided to make one and I like these colors that I chose. Then I mimic the colors here so it looks, you know, fluid across the pages. I like use cool grids. I like this little bush or clouds or something. Here's the fruit, which is probably a lemon, an idea of a lemon. And then the leaves and... Yeah, this is the cutest thing in this page. I mean, in this book. Now, I try to get interesting and get out of my comfort zone, which doesn't really have to be anything complicated, but this is like very minimalist work. And I was, I mean, it's all right. I don't know if you can tell that this is a desert, desert scene, um, but it's too simple for me. I'm a little complicated. I'm a little simple. Like, I got meat somewhere in the middle and this is too simple for me. There's another one. Um, I guess it's pretty much drawing the face without picking up the pen. Um, I'm pretty sure I picked up the pen because I wasn't happy with what it looked like. So it's just, it's just trying out things. You're not going to like everything in here. Or I'm not going to like everything in here. It's a cool cactus. I just did with different colors. I think I... Did I pick the colors up? I'm not sure. But that, there's so many things I just pick up random colors and just hope and pray that they are different. Sometimes I put them back if they're too close, like two grays. That's just too many grays. This is a cool color I wanted to make for an actual world. So like ground, sky, and all. And I just took some ideas. Actually, no. Actually, yes and though. No. So this is like Mercury. I saw a picture of Mercury was like gold and blue. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. And then I just kind of tried it out. I'll put purple on the back for like a good contrast, I guess. This person is happy. Can you tell? They have cool hair. I put cool textures in it. I like it. I might actually use that hair. This little tail, this little hair tail things came from um, Josuke. His hair is like that. Here's a crystal. I try to draw on like the little crystallized little, um, almost geo-like bottom. You can't tell, but this is a expression of Aizawa. It's it it is not really becoming of him because of the way I drew it, but it is him. Take my word for it, please. These are hands. Um, the, the like the the worst thing for every artist. Hands are most artists. Some got better, and some just don't want to deal with it. So we make nubs like pop up girl hands. I gotta make hands. <laughs> Here's some characters I sketch. Um, nothing big about them, just kind of me practicing. But I realized I really need to draw different perspectives of faces if I'm going to do comics. Here's an eye. There's an eye. Um, here's a design that I got inspiration from on Pinterest. And I thought it was pretty cool. It's like a porcelain. I think I was starting 3D. So it's like a porcelain shaped mannequin head. And then like, it had a chain around it, like chains. Or maybe one chain going around twice, I don't know. But, inspiration. 
This is face I did, an actual normal face. Um, I don't, did I get inspiration from this? Probably not. But yeah, kind of messing with colors and seeing what works and what did. Here's Nikki. Um, she looks a little gray, which is not really her skin tone. So I realized in those um, keyboard markers, her skin tone is not in there. And these colors are weird with it. So she's, she's going to be an Ohuhu and a Copic baby. Here's some plants I did just to play with colors. So I kind of did a reference drawing of them. I didn't try to make them beautiful. I mean, just trying to find the colors. Here's a character I did back in 17 that I'm actually going to use in Retrocess. Yeah. Them lips are so blue. I look at them and I'm thinking, oh, I didn't do such a bad job at a guy. He looks like a guy. Um, here's some colors from my actual Instagram that I took that I'm actually going to use in the world. I'm like, why not? I like yellow and blue. That's my favorite um, color combination. Um... <laughs> So this guy's hat is inspired from Johnny. He's also uh, from the Jojo Bizarre Adventures series. Um, what number would he be? Number seven. He's, number, he's from number seven. He's the main character on number seven. His, his hat is inspired from there. His eyes are inspired from All Might. And the skin tone is, I'm trying to go for like a pale skin tone in my story. And it's hard to just capture it in markers when I could just do it easily in digital. I'll do more digital so you guys can see it more, and I'll just paste it into my sketchbook. Um, here's me just playing with perspective, just getting a knack for it. Just, just playing with it a little bit and not having to get too deep into it. You can just learn something from there. Like I don't, I don't expect none of my works to be perfect in perspective, cause why bother? It's, it's fun when it's like uh, stylized, but just to get the fundamentals of it, just to remember that was helpful. I think it looks good. Here's another digital character I did. Um, you're gonna see her in a video too. She's gonna be in like a trio video with some other characters. Some artificial intents. Here's a Billie Eilish um, cover for her My Future video. I've been listening to that for like a whole week. It's ridiculous. More sketches and environment. See how not perfect that is, but it's, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It's not the. That's not the. The story's moving point is the environment. I mean, it does play a part as in the style of it, but it's not the the character is what's going to take. It's a romance, right? Romance is usually about characters. We don't, I don't want to talk about this guy. <laughs> you just don't draw when tired. That's all I'm saying. There's some cute little boys. Little boys. Sorry. They're not little boys. They're younger than me. Maybe. I don't know. I drew them. Um, he's based off of what? Haru from My Little Monster. He's he has no chill, but I love his character. But I, I I drew this inspired by him, and I can't remember which YouTuber I watched for this. But his hair and his little thingy is based off of Kishibe Rohan from Diamonds Unbreakable, um, Jojo Bizarre Adventures. Diamonds Unbreakable. He's one of the characters in there. I love his hair. His hair is like very interesting. Yeah, he's an interesting character. I do some bagels. Just to practice some bagels. Um, and I drew my um a great horned owl, which I heard out of my house once upon a time. It was interesting. Kind of creeped me out because it was so loud, but it was interesting. Here's more Hawks and Dobby. Um, Hawks looks older and um less approachable. And Dobby looks, I was told, looks like a gorilla. And <laughs> not my best picture of Dobby. I don't know what happened. I think his head got too long or it's maybe, I don't know. It's weird. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it, but I love it. I, I love it and hate it. I love it because I learned from it, but I hate it because it is what it is. <laughs> it's a cool um, sketch. I don't know. I don't know. Is this supposed to be a house? It's supposed to be something that's just like trippy. There's a person here, and then she's like actually a house, or whatever. And that's supposed to be fingers. It looks, I don't know what it is now. It's a cool just scene I did with my Tombow markers. I noticed you get this weird or interesting little paint um, brush look from it when you hold it kind of like angled. It was pretty cool. Just figuring out how colors work together. More sketches. There's a van back there that you will never see. And here's a character with very, like, cool... I like the colors. I just wish the hair was different. 
This Keisha Bay Rohan deconstructed. Just something quick. Um, here's some plants done with colors, like top down of the plant. Here is, let's look at this model name, Max. Fies? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not messing it up. I believe it's French. Italian? Huh. It's adorable. I just, there you go, I drew them. <laughs> this, was supposed to be a, this was supposed to be a pastry in a Ziploc bag. Um, that I didn't color the pastry well enough, and then I didn't want to like. I don't know. I just kind of let it go. <laughs> There's Jay. He's there to like cover up all the boring words, just to put some color on the page. And then back here, it's like my little crocus I had for the girl and the guy. Just yeah, a little mannequin. And that's that's it. Thank you guys for bearing with me and me always stumbling over my words. I like uncut sketch book tours because you get more personality out of it. Although you do don't get the you do get those moments where it's like, oh my god, please just continue. I don't know. My videos are longer when I do it this way, but it's less editing this way. So why not? Yeah, I don't know. Cut some things, cut whatever. Anyways, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm always working on another sketchbook. Who knows? I might get one done in a week. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.